Hi everybody, my name is Brooklyn Storm. I'm the founder of the Private Practice Method. Today we're going to talk about an idea that I heard recently and that's that there's no place for spirituality when it comes to owning and running your private practice. How interesting is this? Okay, let's get on with it. Look, when it comes to thinking about the role of spirituality in running a private practice, you might be thinking, what? There isn't one. And I totally appreciate why you might say that. So today, what I want to do is walk you through why I think without incorporating a new perspective like this into how you run your business, you could be missing out on achieving the milestones that you've set for yourself. So let's begin by asking, what is spirituality? Well, first off, spirituality is not religion. It's not about being religious. In fact, religion is organized, usually involves groups. There is usually some kind of dogma or book or text and so on, some set of rules or, or guidelines. But spirituality is different. Spirituality is about you, the individual. There's no dogma, there's no framework, there's no set of guidelines, no rules to follow and no books to read. It's simply about being able to turn inward and listen, to listen to the answers and the guidance that come from within. The thing that I really love the most about spirituality is that because I work with women who are running their private practices, I often see that they can struggle with self-worth and confidence and things like that. Spirituality builds confidence because it can reduce our need and reliance on things like external validation or on external factors to know that we are on the right path. It's very empowering. So for many years, in fact, as far back as I can imagine, and even today, all the private practice owners I've come across and have researched have one thing in common, and that is that they teach and propose that if you have the right tool or the right formula or the right strategy, you'll get ahead in business. But as I see it, all this does is disempower you by making you reliant on external things. Can you imagine how that would feel? It might feel really calming for you initially to get somebody's roadmap, but after a while, that novelty is going to wear off. And before you know it, you're going to be back online hunting for the next tool or strategy or template that you think you need to help you get ahead. But what if you were able to release the idea that you needed tools and strategies from somebody else in order to be successful in your business? What if you were able to learn, as clients are in the private practice method, how to unlock those answers that you already hold to creating that abundance that you truly deserve and desire in your business? And I'm talking about an abundance of things like referrals, of bookings, of retained clients, of opportunities, of turnover, of visibility, of time freedom, and more. What would that be like? So I appreciate that why, while you might want to cling to the familiar, it is familiar. And even though it's not quite working, it's better than approach, you know, than the one you don't. I absolutely understand that. But as I see it, it's not that there's no place for trying new approaches when it comes to running a private practice. In fact, trying a different approach can be so expansive, can open you up to a new way of thinking and to seeing what's possible for your private practice from different and exciting perspectives so that you can experience the success you truly desire in the way that you define it. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you'd like to see more, please head over to my business page and hit follow. And I will look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you so much for joining me today. Bye.